Friday, everybody. Hi, friends. Are you Mich getting used to this view of me? Michelle's hiding again. Guess what? <laughs> Today, we're going to show you a really easy peasy way to be able to make banners like this in your home with some inexpensive drop cloth. So easy. So easy. So fun. And they Looks look amazing. So cute. I did not know this because here's me, old school. I thought drop cloths had plastic backs. They were white. But this new material is kind of a gray. Almost linen-y type finish. Yeah, kind of a gray linen-y finish. It looks fabulous. So we are going to show you how to be able to cut and glue this. You don't have to be able to sew. Cut and glue. <laughs> so that way you can make banners for your fireplace to be able to hang in things like this. I like the idea of, of fraying this even more and putting this on a backing and framing it. Mm -hmm. But um, I, th I think it looks that great. Um, hey, Annalyn. Hey, Renee. Hey, Cindy. Hey, guys. Hi. Happy Hi. Friday. I've got my tea. How's it going, everybody? Y'all, her tea is blue. I was going to tell you. It's really cool. I like it. We're backwards? Like it. We shouldn't be backwards. We flipped it. <coughs> we flipped it. Do we need to flip it again? We should be okay. Oh, we flipped it again. Are we good? Are we good, guys? Now we're less backwards. <laughs> okay. Oh, guess what else? Gosh, I get on here and my my asthma. She's been fine all day. <laughs> been fine all day. Um, guess what? She gets excited when she gets on here. That's the problem. Probably. <laughs> the brand new Jell Art inks. The metallics are in. Gosh, Michelle and I have been like, we're Where's out of these. Our we're all <laughs> I mean, we even used ours, y'all, for you. <laughs> we were like, we don't even have any. <laughs> These metallic inks are phenomenal on paper, on fabric. They're amazing. They're amazing. And we've got them in the silver, the copper, and the gold. So they're all now in and they're live. So if you're on our email blast, you will have seen this. Yes. This just went out. And I also want to put in just a, I'm trying to think, do I have it over here? Which yes. one? Yes. Grab, grab that. If you didn't watch my, my conversation earlier Ooh. with Sarah Davis. I'm dropping Adorable, them. adorable influencer. Sarah Davis, and she has a huge following and believer. She loves Jesus, and she is partnering with us with our um, our maker class. This is going to take place next Thursday at 7 p.m., and we are two-day federal expressing these because we want as many people to participate in it as possible. Oh. You, so pretty. You're gonna um, you're gonna be doing this crafting, and you're gonna learn how to do it. You will get your solid brass easel. You'll get ten of your cards, all of your inks, and everything. Your paintbrush, your recipe card. But we're gonna be doing this together, and you'll be in breakout rooms. There'll be twelve women. I'm so excited about this. I know. There'll be twelve women in each crafting group, and you're gonna connect with that group, and we're gonna be talking about really hard subjects because yeah. that really deep and meaningful conversation is how we forge really great friendships. Absolutely. And so the discussion, the topic is going to be why are friendships so hard for women? And why are we so lonely? And why do we talk about we social media and everything on there really talks about and shows everybody the highlighted moments of their life. But not the nitty gritty. But not, not the pain. Not the part of where we struggle with um, insecurity and fear and failure and um, how um, friendships from the past have really kind of hurt us and maybe um, maybe those friendships or pains from the past keep us from um, making new friends and then when you talk about your children your children are younger yeah so you have friends with kids, with that have kids similar kids right similar but ages when those kids go to college you don't have that anymore yeah so then you're like looking for a new group of friends um, and the kits, I believe, are sixty-seven dollars, and that includes yes, that includes the that class. includes your shipping. Okay, that yes. includes shipping too. And y'all, can I just tell you, this is the heaviest stand. This is no small mamma jamma. This thing weighs a lot. By themselves <laughs> on Amazon, those are thirty-four dollars. They are 
heavy just by themselves it's not like your stuff is not gonna fall over you know you know it's really really beautiful that are kind of like wonky now we wanted to make sure solid. they're solid brass they're really beautiful and so um, yeah and they're really there's like something that you will have forever yeah but the $67 still um, it includes all your shipping all the shipping. all your stuff all the class it's great but here's here's gonna be the fun thing and this is part this is the God idea not the good idea is that um, um, for us to do this every month so I'll I'll just go on and tell you <laughs> what the next month is I'm getting so much trouble Marty's watching she's going gosh Amy's going rogue again so this first one uh, this first class and about us connecting and really having great friendships and crafting um, are the scripture cards and it's really beautiful so you're gonna learn a skill and you'll have this in your home so the second one it's actually going to be a prayer and praise board mm. that we're going to make so you can I want to be able to I wanted to have something in my kitchen so that way I could have it up to where I was praying for people it's really where pretty you you're gonna love it. it yes over and over and then in March we're going let me see February March April we're gonna be doing these amazing French herb clay pots mm. and so the, here's the deal get in on the beginning get your group get your crafting group and have 12 women that you'll be making with and really connect and then that way you can do it every month. It'll be and a lot of fun. And then you get to keep connecting with yes, them. Yes, it'll be great. So you can do Zooms and you can connect with mm -hmm. people virtually. It, now we can't hug each other, but Darn you it. can, but you, yes, that's hard for <laughs> it's Michelle. It's my love language. Um, but you can, re, you are going, you can do that monthly. But it's not a subscription. You'll decide if you want to be able to do Absolutely. it. Absolutely. But that way if you had a great time, I know you will, some tears will be shed and good tears and then um, you'll be able to say, okay, let's all do this together the mm -hmm. next time. All right, so today we want to show you how to use some drop cloths and make some great looking banners. Of course, we are we have the example to be able to show you as far as our family rules that we introduced last Friday. Absolutely. Can't we believe love it's it. been a week. Right? And um, let's just Monday. show them one more time. On Monday, didn't oh, we? it was Monday. Monday. Oh my gosh. It's been a long week, y'all. It has been a long week. It's been amazing, but it's been a long week. So what we did here, these are just dowels that you can get at a hardware store that show, show them, Michelle, what a handyman you are. Dowel. Saw. Yes. Eater, 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 yeah, so eater. you don't have to have an electric saw. It was an, it was not hard. You can get these saws for about $25 at any hardware store. If you don't have a saw, they're a great tool to have. I kind of like mine. And then these were $1.50 a piece. And I just measured the length I wanted, and I already started it so that, you know, if I want to cut another one, it's quick and easy. So that way, we just use the glue gun and be able to fold it over. Mm -hmm. And we're going to take you through and show you that. But, so, they're really so cute, so beautiful. You can hang this um, around and have different pictures um, hanging around it. And the texture, <laughs> Michelle's having way too much fun. I'm, I'm over here sawing, getting ready for you. And the texture really adds to the pictures. Now, I think it would be fun to go on and take some um, cording some uh, raffia or some twine rope yeah. and yeah, go on and some hemp and hang it. That way it'd be really, really cute. You could hang this in a bathroom too. Be I'm really gonna have cute. to put it on the floor. So do I you really need to stability. cut it? Do you really need to cut it? Are we gonna are we gonna glue another one on? Um well let's show them first. Okay. Maybe, maybe like if we'll, we glue another we'll one on then yes. Hey Dixie, how are you? It'll Thank only you. Take me a second if I can get on the floor. Well, let's talk to I need them to first. pin it with my knee. All right, so here's the here's the drop cloth that is this gorgeous color. Um, where do they get this? Um, Home Depot or Lowe's carries ones, both of them, and I'm sure any local hard hardware store would as well. Ace, all of them have just a real simple drop cloth. I bought a five by five, but they have four by sixes. They've like nine by fifteen, fifteen by thirty. Okay. It could be in any price range or size you want. And almost all of them are this gray color now, or they're a little bit yellowier, almost more like um, burlap. They've got a little bit more yellow tone to them. And they paint really well. They do paint really well. The ink goes on here really good. It does. Isn't that wild? It does. It goes so on really wild. Nice. Well, it's a really, they're a smooth finish. They're actually pretty soft. So you can, um, you can cut it any size. Absolutely. And so this one, this is what I want you to be able to see. See as far as the, the fraying of it, so that way when you cut it, 
And there is a, there's a salvage edge on it if you want to be able to keep that intact. They have a sewn edge. But, um, but Michelle cut this out. I did, and then I pulled it. And then we just pull the edge of it so that way you get that gorgeous frayed edge. It's kind of fun. It's like addictive. It Did, okay, this, that would be really gross, what I was going to say. <laughs> so she's thinking better of it. Okay, I'll just say it. Do y'all remember when you used to get a sunburn a long time ago? My kids, when we would go to Florida and my kids would get a sunburn on their back, and you'd peel it. I would peel it. You peeled the skin. And it was, it was fun. <laughs> I thought, and I, my daughter Brooke, there are and people they would like be that. like, "You're sick." Our mother's really sick because she likes peeling that dead skin off of us. After about three or four days, it was like I couldn't stand it sitting there. But when I was doing this earlier, is any am is I crazy? What you were thinking about? Does anybody else tell me? Please tell me. Help me, Hannah. Please tell her she's not alone. What, Somebody did anybody jump, else jump on her little love bandwagon to peel and the let her skin know that, that was she... like. The skin that was peeling off of your kids' backs when they were blistered. I mean, I put lotion on it. I took care of them, but it was just like, it was so fun to peel that dead skin off. Well, it's like any <laughs> child who, okay, so my kids put Elmer's glue all over their oh, yeah, hands totally. because they just love to peel Okay, the Lori, glue so off. you did it too? Yes. Yay. Yes. Thank you. Now, Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> you are not alone. You're Good. amongst your people, Amy. Good. Oh my gosh, you are so right. Sorry, but it's like it's those things we don't talk about. This is why I love the. Uh, this is why I love the idea of having a group of women that get together, and that we can talk about stuff like this. Not that we're going to talk about how we peeled the skin off of our kids' backs, but <laughs> when we can have real meaningful conversation and it fills our emotional tanks. Absolutely. That's why I want you to be part of this maker camaraderie. class. Camaraderie. Look, you've yes, got lots we need of people who are right with yes, you. Yes, I'm guilty. I know it's kind of like, it's one of those things you don't talk about. Well, anyway, when I was doing this and I was like, this is really fun. Like this, just kind of pulling those threads and to be able to get that frayed edge. I was like, yes, I could sit here and unravel the whole thing. And um, it's like, see, it's like peeling skin. Yes. Love it. Okay. I'm messing that up. All right, Michelle. <laughs> so let's, let's get our other, um, let's get our other verse. Actually, that's the part that we can be, um, we can roll over with our dowel. Yes. Don't you don't you love technology? It's just fabulous. Sometimes it's testy and it doesn't want to play nice. All right, so we're here. I've got my phone. <laughs> that was Michelle's phone. And we're gonna um but Bertie was walking by and I wanted to grab her because I wanted to I wanted to brag on her, but I also want y'all to meet her. So um hold on just a second. Hold on. Hey Bertie. Hey Bertie, come here for a second. She's like, what are you doing? I'm being bad. Come here. I thought about doing this earlier today. This girl is beautiful. Okay, come here. We want you to meet our world. <laughs> okay, come here for a second. So, we didn't do this in, we didn't do this in uh, January. Mm -hmm. And I know it's February now. Guys, this is Birdie. Hi. She's incredible. I'm just going to tell you. We were having our lunch today. We have lunch on Fridays here. And we talk about where do we see God this week. And I was just bragging on her big time. And so, Bertie, now I will tell you, she is our new uh, logistics facilitator. She has three little boys. And um, would you tell everybody just really quickly whatever you're comfortable with? Because I am going to sit you down and we're going to do a major interview. But as far as where you are and where you are now. Oh, I am a recovering addict, just passed for three years. I am super grateful. Um, I have been in the sex industry, God, for years, like 15, 16 years. Um, I lost custody of my kids. I was born, I'm the youngest of nine, uh, but my parents was alcoholics. Um, so it was a lot, a lot of abuse, a lot of um, sexual abuse also. But by the grace of God, I'm still here, and I am praising him, and I'm grateful for the blessings that he has shone upon me in my life and my family. And I like to help people. I, I like to see other addict women strive for their goals. Okay. Yes, she does. So, Birdie, Birdie had been praying for, now we're getting all these weird lights. Birdie had been praying for someone that the Lord would allow her to be able to mentor and to pour into. 
and there was somebody that she was trying to help. Mm -hmm. Come up here closer to me so that way I can I can do this. There was somebody that she was trying to help, and she didn't want the help. No. Mm -mm. Wasn't interested. But this week, we got a new gal on our team, and her name is Tracy, and she could pour into her. Mm -hmm. And it's been amazing. It has been a wonderful feeling to be able to help her and to give her my testimony of how um, God has brought me, and I'm hoping I can continue to help her. We're going to love on her. Definitely. She, <laughs> Tracy's got a new family here. So thank you, Birdie. We thank love you. you. We're proud Hi. of you. So um, this is part of, this is part of women helping women. Amen. And it's part of, for us and our mission here at a maker studio and Amy Howard at home, that we employ women that are that have been in human trafficking and birdie have been in human trafficking for like nine a years time. a, a long, long long time and um like she said she had lost custody of her children and so now the exciting part is is that a maker studio is um sending her three little boys to a private school Aww. did you not know that Aww. yes <laughs> So, Sweet little doodles. So one thing we want you to know, beautiful boys. we really look at our company as an opportunity to reach others and to be able to be real to these women that have been in human trafficking Yeah. because the trajectory of their life has changed forever. Amen. Now, does working, does working with um, imperfect people get exhausting? Yes. Yes, it does. For but, them, too, because we're also imperfect. Oh, my gosh. Yes, I can only imagine what they say about me. But, but it is um, it's great. And so when, you, when you buy our stencils, when you buy our gel ink, when you buy our maker class, you, pour kits, into you are pouring women. into these women. And you are pouring into a company that is not going to be apologetic about sharing the words of, um, of our Savior and Scripture and things that are encouraging. So... Um, uh, Birdie is the real deal, and she's phenomenal. I'm so proud of her and Thank just what, what has transpired with her and her, her life. I okay, her. so I'm going to stand up so that way these guys can see what it is that you're working on so we don't have technical difficulties anymore. Why don't we do, why don't we do blue and gold on it? Okay, do let's do it. And gold? Let's okay. do it. Okay, so Amy and I wanted to show you the metallics because we've got them back and we can play Welcome with them Molly. again. Yay, she just got the maker class. Oh, awesome, you're going to love it. It's going to be a lot, a lot of fun. So sweet. We're going to make such sweet friendships out of this. Okay, so I don't know if you guys could hear me, but her, her me. Her could me. you hear me? Hear you. <laughs> I was burnishing while Amy was talking because we really do want this to lay down well on the um, fabric. So this is what we're going over with you today. As far as you can just go and get these um, project drop cloths. And they're this gorgeous kind of gray green fabric. Look at that. And how you can thread it after I was telling my weird story about um, peeling <laughs> a dead skin. And so um, thank you, Dixie. We, we just are being the hands and feet of Christ. That's all I can tell you. And it's our joy and privilege. Absolutely. Praise God that he would choose to use us in that mm -hmm. capacity, that he would allow it. Who are we? Okay, so the plan here is you are doing... Well, I'm going to do peace on earth, goodwill toward men, not the and, in the blue. Okay. And then I'm going to do gold on the... Um, is that wheat, Amy? What is the beautiful little... No, it's not wheat. Really across the top. It's just something that looks like little buds. I like it. It's really, it's really beautiful. It's very natural to me. It just, it screams nature and warmth. And so, guys, if you're just now popping on here, we're showing you how we took some just regular old drop cloth that you can get at the hardware store. And it's fun to be able to kind of just fray the edges like this. There's so many great projects that you can do. This one was one that we just did. Let me move some of this stuff around here. This is one that we did with our brand new family rule stencil. And I do, I love the texture from it. And I love just how you can take these dowels that we cut and made them into like a scroll. 
And so we're showing you how you can make this into a smaller one. I'm so sorry, I hit your okay. arm. Into a I'm smaller kind of one. All over the place. <laughs> and on this one, Michelle is doing blue and I'm then do metallic. So this is our navy blue ink. Remember with the ink, you can use it on fabric, you can use it on paper. And we're really jazzed because the gold is back. The gold is back. We got our gold metallic ink back in stock. Oop. Lay that back down. There we go. You can even come back on top of this one Absolutely. that we did. We could lay the, the stencil back on it and then put the gold on top of it and have the black as the shadow from the back. But the great thing about it is to be able to make a lot of these banners, this is great too um, for you guys to be able to make something and resell it. Well, and they're super popular. Like the banners and the macrame and there's so many things that are just kind of making a comeback that are natural fibers in your home to decorate. And so these are beautiful and they're different than decorating your walls with, say, you know, a board. Carmelina, we love the navy and gold too. Thank okay. you. I think I've got it all. I'm doing the best I can from the angles I'm at, my friends. Ta-da! Look at that. Oh. That's really, really pretty. I love how you did the and in the gold. Thanks, guys. Thanks for the love. Please share. We love you to share the love. And um, and here's the deal. Share this video. Share this video because we are going to be giving away this peace on earth, goodwill towards men to everybody that shares this video, we've got um, your name will go in for a drawing and then we're gonna choose one winner and then we're gonna send this stencil to them so that way they can turn around and do it on the Crafting a Beautiful Life. Yay. So yeah, really beautiful. I love, if you can, I don't know if, if you can really see the metallic. Oh gosh, the metallic, it's, so it's really in person, it's, it's really stunning. quite beautiful. Now, here's the other deal that we need to do. We need to allow this to dry about two hours mm -hmm. and then, Heat set it. Heat set it. You want to come on top of it with just a regular cloth and do your iron over it at about um, 250, 300 degrees, as high as it'll go, and just allow your iron to go over it, and that will heat set it. Now, you're not going to wash this. This would be great for pillows. Oh, so You are pretty. seamstress. Mm -hmm. I am not. So you could totally cut out. Uh, the drop cloth. And seriously, this drop cloth is so soft. It would make great, a great pillow pillow. pillows. It would yes. make great pillows. Totally. Pieces. What a great pillow this would make. And they're sturdy. Yeah. So let's get the dowel. We'll just show people as far as how you're going to. Now, of course, that so one's a little want bit me to get bigger. Do you want to the floor and cut it? Do you really want to? Okay. Well, that can way you I lay can it on the welcome on mat? Sides. Yeah. Okay. We're gonna come, we're gonna floor. come over here. I just have to balance it with my knee. I need a little body weight, y'all. Oh, come on. There we go. i twist it. So the dowels that you're going to get, as a rule, about how long are they? They are 36 inches. So you, you don't can, need them to be um, I think 36 you could inches. probably get a four-foot one. Um, but I couldn't find any smaller than 36 inches. So, okay, so they're asking, did you pre-wash the drop cloth? Nope. No. It took it straight out of the bag. Yeah, so if you're going to use it for a wall hanging, it's not necessary to wash it, but if you want to have pillows, I would probably pre-wash it. I would. Yeah. All right, so we'll come back over here. And the cool thing about it is, if you're a seamstress, that's, if you're not a seamstress, that's okay. But, um... Well, hey, Pam. Yes. Well, thanks for watching. This uh, stencil is on our site. You can go back and do hashtag replay. But we're showing you how to be able to take just regular drop cloth material that we frayed. And we've got our dowels. So they're 36 inches long. But we've got them. We've cut them down because we did one over here. 
and we did this one with our family rules. So if you are a seamstress, you could sew these if you wanted to, but um, hot glue works just as well. <laughs> and yes, Carmelina, they're so easy to cut. I'm like, hot glue makes just as easy. That smell, oh, the years of my fingers, <laughs> hurting my fingers. It's like, Lord have mercy. And so what I did is I just glued that edge and then I'm gonna roll it and do another layer and then just let it lay in. And these banners that you can make like this, they're so inexpensive, but they look expensive. Yes. So we could be making the pillows, like we said, and, and fraying them. Um, have you ever made a pillow to where you didn't sew it, but you just did a hot glue gun? No. Could you? You, it depends. There's fusing tape that you can just iron, and the fusing tape holds really well. Like, you can hem stuff and all kinds of stuff like that. Um, I haven't tried with a glue gun because I have children things have to hold up right <laughs> and you so <sew. laughs> all right so love judy hey guys thanks sarah um hey patricia so just go on share this video and your name will go in for a drawing that we're gonna have and it makes a clean edge yeah when it you does glue it. so it's great. really fine like that looks great so that way simple. when you and we haven't put our other one at the top but that way when you hold this up and it's hanging i'm gonna hold it back so you yeah can show it. it's really cute can you see that so cute. Love that. Love it. I love the fact that you did the um, the blue and the gold. Awesome. That looks really good. Thanks. All right. So, guys, it's your turn. Guess what? Now, you're going to be able to get one of these stencils. Get Go get some drop cloth material. At um, We got this at Lowe's. Home Depot. At Home Depot. Sorry. There, we, we love, I was already there. We love Ace Hardware True Value <laughs> Lowe's. We love them all. I'm, I'm um, already there. But that way, you we, you can get the five by five if you don't want to get a really large one. Exactly. Um, did you use fabric glue stick? I actually didn't. They're just hot glue. It is the cheap. This isn't even the hot one. This is the, there's one that's like a cool hot, so you don't, because I burn myself all the time. <laughs> so mine's not even the hot, hot glue. It's the semi-hot, <laughs> because Michelle injures herself. <laughs> yeah, Pam loves the hot glue gun smell. Like, Something good is coming. It says magic melt. Yeah, so um, Pam, join my club about, because I'm a freak, because I peel the dead skin off my children's <laughs> backs when they get, um, when they get a sunburn. Anyway, you'll, to understand that, you'll have to go back and watch the beginning of this Facebook <laughs> Live. So share this video, everybody, and your name will go in for a drawing that will be giving away this um, piece on earth, Goodwill Towards Men. Have a great weekend, everybody. We love you.